Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my son's Prius. I never actually went through it and showed the car um, and like introduced it to the channel. Um, but I did do a repair on it on this, this is the screen. I did a video on it. But I never went through and showed you the car. It, it's kind of a little bit too late. You'll see why. But let's check it out real quick. So it's a 2007 Prius Touring Edition. Uh, it had a little scrapes here and there. It had some sticker. One of those, um, what do you call it? It's funny that this, with the, it's probably like, probably like a little magnetic sticker here. I actually saved the paint from uh, getting deteriorated. But uh, it was a pretty good car. Interior, well, it's torn apart a little bit right now. Leather interior. Seats were in uh, pretty decent shape. Headliner was good, doors were good. I mean, everything's in uh, nice shape. The seat, you know, these seats, yeah, they got some wear. I think it had like 130,000 miles on it. There's the screen I replaced. Uh, we didn't really, I didn't, he had this car for like three months. The The dash isn't cracked. The um, glove boxes are intact. This part is, was, was in good shape. I had to replace all these because these were all busted. But uh, unfortunately, he had the car for three months, and you can see where I'm getting, see where I'm going with this. Let me show you the front. So it doesn't run anymore. It will roll, but it will not turn on. He was sitting at a stoplight. I was thought he was sitting at a stop sign. <clears throat> he was sitting at a stop sign. The car was going across the intersection. Another car came and hit that car this way, and this car went into my son's car. And pretty much just totaled this car. Uh, so I've been looking for, you know, we, he liked this car, it was nice and reliable. And I'm trying to try to find a replacement for almost two months. And it's a shame. I mean, this car is in very good shape. And I got it for a good price. And for some reason, in three months, the prices of cars have gone up a little bit. I cannot get <clears throat> paid about $3,500 for this car. And I could not find another car for $3,500 in this in this kind of shape I mean I know the paint shot roof is all gone but it's difficult to find another nice car so anyway looking for about a month maybe a month and a half and we found this a red one so we had a blue one now he's got a red one this is a 2008 it is it's got little bings and bumps around it Paint is faded again on the on the top like like the other one. It's something with the clear coat. Whole roof is all flat. Side looks good. This one has 92,000 miles on it. Um, this bumper, this bumper, this fender is a little wavy, like it got pushed in and someone tried banging it out. The front, I figured out. This front has been repainted. Uh, you can see there's overspray. Front's been repainted. Yeah, look how nice the hood looks, and then the roof. So that was a, a, a so that was a tip off that something's been painted, and this fender's been painted. And I think this whole thing up here's been painted because look, this this looks perfect. Uh, there was an accident record on this car for the rear. I don't know how bad it was, but this one also. 
is locked. This one has black leather interior. In decent shape. You can see this somewhere. Right? But all in all, it's in good shape. Carpets and everything look fine. I was trying to get the same color interior, this tan color that he had in the other car. Because Christmas time, we bought him all the all the floorings and oh this is all already we bought them all the the, uh, the mats and everything in tan to match this car and now we bought a car that has black interior um, front seat it's got a little rip right here yeah you can see it I think the other the other car the seats are probably worn the same it's just that you can't see it because it's a lighter color so we might get some dye and just rub some dye on here and, the, on, you know, just all cracking in some spots. Uh, this car runs very well. I mean, engine-wise, it's quiet. does everything it's supposed to do. I don't... You can see this is cracked. Let me say dash is sticky. It's kind of gross. But this is cracked. We're going to take the one off the other car and put it on here. And then also the lower glove box there's a crack in it. I don't know how that happens. Maybe just people going like this. Probably. Hitting it on the corner. Uh, everything works. Like it's supposed to. Battery, I think, is the original battery in this thing. And I have uh, the Dr. Prius app. And it says there's like one or two batteries. And, and it does that. It's like one or two banks that are bad. So we have the battery of that car that was rebuilt. So that battery's good. I never actually looked in here to see what the battery looked like. You gotta take stuff apart. Oh, what am I doing here? Fresh. Fresh. That was already unlocked. Oh, okay. oh it has the front plate. And it has all the tow hooks and uh, that stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to go dig into this right now. But the battery's right here. And I will take it apart one day and look to see what the deal is. But mechanically, this car is in great shape. This one was in okay shape mechanically. It was making a little bit of noise. I think the, um, I think the brake pump was going bad on it. So, anyway, so we got this one. We haven't got any money for this one yet from insurance, so I don't know how much money I'm getting out of it. I'm going to part it out. I'm going to keep it and then part it out. It has good interior. The engine works. I don't know what other parts people want off these cars. The wheels are good. has good tires. I mean, I could just throw these in the shed and... Uh, Tires are probably dry rot and get old before he wears them out. But, uh, I mean, these tires on this car are pretty good, too. Yeah, they're almost, they're almost like brand new. Yeah, so those tires are no problem. I don't have them here. It looks like you ran over some paint or something. But it does have the fender liner. That's good. I can't use any, can't use any front end parts off this car. I mean, headlight, eh, maybe. Oh, and this one's also touring, so it has the HID headlights and the fog lights. And it's got the backup camera. So that's the story on the blue one. Blue one's gonna get parted. I'll get some insurance money. Hopefully I get enough insurance money to pay most of this one off. Because I paid I mean, it's 92,000 miles, and paid like out the door like $6,000. So I don't think that was too bad of a deal. More than I wanted to spend, but I figure I'm going to get some money off, off the blue one, put it into that one, you know, pay that off. So I don't know. He's got a car. 
and hopefully this one lasts a longer long time <clears throat> I would like to have this one passed on to the other kids I'm looking at this now I wonder if this door is painted too I want I don't this makes sense uh, maybe not I mean it could use I don't know the, it's, it's a good I think it's a good paint job they did on the front here I saw no, I went to look at another car that was repainted and oh my gosh I mean you can see like where they put some body filler and it was just scratch marks and it was like holes I'm like what I'm like I looked at it I go what the heck is you know right in your view there would be a little dimple I'm like what is that like they didn't smooth it out it was it was ridiculous I mean I don't really care about the the looks of it really want to the function the mechanicals to be good but I mean that was I mean you were doing all that, all that you're taking all that time to do the body work and just and you just just I'm just I, I mean you do all that work you do all the body work and you don't you miss little things like that and then paint it and then it look, it, paint just brings out all the imperfection looks 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 horrible so anyway um I think I might, the thing I might take off right away on that from that car is the backup camera because I think that that camera is. I gotta ask my son because he's the one that's driven the car. And this thing. Oh, this is broke. That's why. And that one's not in. So it just pops off. That's not even. That's yeah. All these clips are broke. That's why this kind of thing's coming off. Someone just glued it on. Like that's gonna hold forever. Yes, I want to take this backup camera off and probably put it on that one because I, I think this one was probably better. I don't know. I will uh, hook the battery up there and see what the camera looks like. It just doesn't look good in this car. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look or what. Anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to introduce you to this car. Hopefully, I won't have to do much on this thing. You know, oil change. Might have touched the battery, which I will have a battery from here. I'll just take, the, I might just take this whole battery and slap it in there uh and tint the windows these that it needs the windows tinted the ac works really well it's just that the sun is cooks you in there well that's it thanks a lot for watching thanks for subscribing and just to give me a little update on the my priuses that we have here that one looks really bad um he wasn't hurt which was good so if you have any concerns about that he, he was he's fine it's just, uh, you know, sucks. Has a car for three months and it gets wrecked. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hit the like button if you want to. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Another cool thing I, th I like about this car, I thought when you walk up to this, to unlock the door, you have to hit this button. I'm like, oh, you know, then it, it locks it. All you have to do is just come here. It's like proximity sensor and it unlocks. I didn't realize that. And then when you want this, what you do is that locks it. I showed my son that and he goes, yeah, yeah, the other car did it too. Because that, that's how, that's how it works, dad. It's like, oh, I didn't know. I mean, this is 2008 and it does that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, I just want to add that to the video. Here's a screen when you're doing, going in reverse. Now, actually, I don't know if you can see it. It looks pretty good. Maybe it just needs to get some use out of it because I was driving it yesterday and I I was backing up. I was like sunburst, couldn't even see it. Anyway, I don't know. All right, I mean here, here I am driving. Battery's dead. Spoiler: I did a battery test and battery's at 59% life, which for probably the original battery, I guess it's not too bad. Did the thing will spin the tires? I didn't try spinning the tires. Once this gets, we just got this car, and once uh, my son gets it, I, I don't see it anymore. So I don't, I don't get to have any fun or drive it or do anything with it. All right, let's see. From a dead stop. Let's see what happens. Nope. Oh, oh, it's fun. 
zero to 30 in, I don't know how many seconds that was. Felt like a long time. And it's beeping because I don't have my seatbelt on. I don't know, I'll never get used to this little switch here. This is weird. They changed it in the newer ones, and probably because this is just strange. But, all right, there we go. Seatbelt warning again. All right, I'm gonna park it. it has, we had the car has ninety two thousand eight hundred and twenty nine. Yep. Keep beeping. All right, that's. Uh, I want to get some stuff out of the other car. Oh well.